hi guys uh, today I'm gonna show you the piecemeal restore so basically what the piecemeal restore is that uh, to do a piecemeal restore you must have your database created uh, in the file groups so here is the command to create a database as you notice uh, we are creating and putting the data files and <coughs> in separate um, file groups so when I create the database it uh, creates the database along with the file groups so if we check in the properties as you can see these are the file logical names and physical name of the files and the file groups and here is just the file group information so that right now the default file group is primary uh, next this part is not required but I just put here um, the page verify checksum uh, just enabling it uh, so that we can detect uh, corruption okay so next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify the default file group for the database from primary to read write file group what it means is that when you create an object table or index it will be created in a read write file group by default so if we check now uh, see the read, read write file group is marked as default so that is good next step I'm going to create uh, a table in the in the test database and it will uh, go to read write file group because we change the file group the default file group next time I'm going to insert some records in that table and note uh, and uh, next time I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to create another table uh, what I'm creating in read only file group and then I'm going to insert records let's do it together so basically the read only this object XYZ has been created in read only file group but it is created uh, there because the read only file group is not yet read only uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to mark the or change the file group from read write to read only uh, so um, showing the command <coughs> to make the read only file group read only uh, so that's done if we check here in the properties now uh, you can see this uh, file group is read only now so next thing I'm gonna just check that if it is really read only group I'm gonna issue the command to delete data from that XYZ table and it should fail uh, so as you can see it fails uh, you know mentioning that uh, this object table resides only on read only file group uh, the next you know you know this is the the command to do a full backups uh, everybody knows that if you are a DBA and this is uh, the way to restore it I'm gonna skip that part it is not uh, required so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a primary file group um, backup and I'm gonna take uh, read only file group backup and I'm gonna take read write file group backup and next I'm going to take the transaction log backup you must take the transaction log backup otherwise you won't be able to uh, you know uh, restore the database uh, properly uh, so here is the backup uh, for the transaction log backup so if we go here we can see all the backups uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply 
uh, uh, delete the database but before I do let me change back to master because otherwise so uh, I'm not delete that database from here and to do a piecemeal restore I'm gonna restore the test di uh, database uh, the primary uh, file group uh, with no recovery and the next step as you can see the restore is successful if I refresh it we're gonna see database and it's in the <coughs> recovery uh, you know restore sta restoring state so the next I'm gonna restore uh, another file group read file group and then I'm gonna restore the read only file group and then I'm gonna restore the transaction log uh, with the recovery and as you can see uh, the database is there so we can see all our tables and we can access data from the table 50 rows and 100 rows so that's how the piece will be so thank you for watching